Hello guys, welcome to Tech Studio. In last two videos, I have taught you something about uh, basic tags of HTML. From this video, we will begin our JavaScripting. So if you want to know more about JavaScript and JavaScripting, please keep watching this video until the end. Yes guys, so let us begin with our javascripting, okay, uh, so as usual we will go to our notepad uh, and uh, the javascripts also begin with the tag similar to that of html, so html, uh, inside html, again I will write my body, okay, so in body, uh, there is a tag called a script uh, which marks the beginning of our javascript, okay, so and the type of the script would be text okay uh, slash java script okay this will tell the system that this uh, this is the beginning of our javascript okay so uh, i will demonstrate the javascripting with the help of a program okay so we will write a script to print the uh, squares of the numbers okay so suppose a user gives an input uh, n that is uh, suppose it uh, if we use 5 so uh, the output should be uh, the squares of the first five numbers okay uh, so we will uh, begin with our script so we have to take a uh, variable okay so as we declare uh, variables in another programming language like uh, c c plus plus or java with the help of the keywords those are data types there okay like in float and uh, many other uh, in scripts we declare the variables with the keyword var okay so a uh, var output okay so this is my uh, variable and i will assign a string to this uh, variable okay that is uh, result is okay so this is my uh, first variable i will take one more variable with n okay so n is the number that i need to uh, scan from the user so prompt okay uh, enter sorry okay uh, enter the n value okay uh, so uh, prompt here is an output method okay like similar to that of printf or uh, c out in uh, c c plus plus okay so this will uh, give an prompt to the user to give an value okay uh, so after we have scanned the value we have two special cases here that uh, the uh, input prompt is not kept empty or is uh, not given to value 0 okay so we have to tackle both those so i will use an if if condition here so where n is not equal to null and uh, n is always greater than 0 okay if these both condition are met because i have used uh, and here these both condition need to meet okay so when those are met so uh, the controller will enter in the loop and uh, here we have to write our logic so uh, i will declare another variable named i and uh, i will assign it to zero so this variable i will use for uh, i will use it for my iterations okay so uh, i will write one more message here this is alert okay so the first Okay, plus n plus n numbers, sorry, numbers and their squares. S -U -T -A. Squares are the for i equal to 1 i is less than equal to n and i plus plus okay so this is my for loop for the iteration uh, i will store my output in the resultant variable plus and i will use a shortened operator plus here okay so slash n uh, plus i plus slash, okay we'll go to star and plus i plus equal 
used to press i start i So uh, as you can see, I've used pl this plus operator many times in my print message. So actually this plus here is not uh, addition operator, but it is a concatenation operator here. So uh, what this uh, plus does is uh, it concatenates the value of I with uh, the whole message. Like suppose I have used plus here. Okay, before n and after n. So what this does is whatever value is stored in n is concatenated with this whole message. Okay, so if uh, n contains the value 5, the uh, message that will be displayed on the screen would be the first five numbers and their squares are. Okay, so this is how this concatenation operator uh, works. And uh, this slash line is obviously for the new line character. Okay, so we'll give the final that is out output okay i will close my if here so as i have if i have to have else part okay so alert would be no proper input Yeah, this is my whole script. So I have to close my script tag. Okay, so we have opened our script tag here and we have closed the script tag. So this is a block tag. Okay. Uh, and I will close my body and the HTML. Okay, so I will save my script with the name script script script.html okay so the file format for both html and the javascript remains same because we usually write our javascript inside the same html page okay so i will save this uh, i've already uh, turned on my uh, vamp browser uh, sorry vamp server so i will just go to my browser here so local host uh, you can see the dashboard of my BAM browser so this I have a folder called HTML okay, so you can see uh, these two scripts this is our script script.html okay yeah uh, so uh, this is how the prompt works okay so prompt uh, it is uh, asking me for the n value so I will give here uh, something called 6 okay so just press ok so the, then the next message that we uh, gave using the alert that is uh, given here. Okay, this is the alert box. Uh, it says the first six numbers and their squares are. Okay, so you get this output. Okay, so the result is one and one into one is one, two twos are four, three threes are nine. Okay, so these are the square of the first six number. Okay. Uh, so our script is working accordingly uh, so this is how uh, you can write a script for your HTML okay these scripts uh, can be further used in uh, forms or retrying the uh, data from the user okay uh, so in next video I will show you the uh, CSS okay the CSS is again called uh, is a uh, styling uh, styling sheet okay so in previous videos we have applied the styles using uh, style tag so css is a better version of applying the styles to the html pages so we will discuss about uh, css in next uh, video and we will also uh, start our uh, form uh, form the creation of the form in upcoming videos so please subscribe you have a link over the video and uh, you can also check out our other segment which is based on c c plus plus and java and which can help you to build a better logic of uh, programming so guys please watch uh, keep watching our uh, videos thank you thank you guys